Welcome back to Doc's Hot Shop and Forge. So today we're going to do something I don't do a lot of, which is making Damascus. Um, so what I've got here is about one and a half kilos of um, the pre-tensioning um, cable that's used in pre-stressed concrete. This is average is around about 0.7% carbon, can be up to 0.8. Um, what I've gone and done is I've actually welded it around a mild steel core, which goes up to about here. Um, so the first thing I've got to do is tighten up this so that they're not parallel but twisted around that core. So the first job is get it warm, flux it up, get it really hot, and then twist it. Now this part here is welded to the core out here. I expect it will probably shear off during that twisting, but because it's secured here and everything else, and this is actually going to shorten and pull it down, it should be okay. Um, the point of having the mild steel in the as the core is A, I've got a piece to draw out for the tang, but secondly, it gives it a soft inner portion that's going to give toughness to this billet. Um, I'm intending to make either a long dagger or a short, um, what's it called, arming sword, or um, possibly, maybe, if I feel really inspired, a lightweight rapier. Because we do have one and a half kilos of metal, which is at the upper end of rapier territory and at the very lower end of arming sword territory. So we'll see how much we can actually get out of it. Um, this is more just for a bit of fun than anything else. I have etched this just to get rid of the bulk of the rust. Um, I've given it a coat of a light coat of oil just to protect it whilst I was waiting for the weekend to turn up. Um, along the way, I seem to have caught the local lurgy, which, as we all know, is of a certain C word. Um, so we'll see how we go. I'm not feeling the best. I'm not doing anything critical today. It's just going to be basically some light hammer work I'm using the swage block because it's got a nice 60 degree V which just fits this um, and that'll allow me to work from three sides as I go as you'll see when I'm actually doing this so let's get the forge hot and uh, let's try and have some fun
as I want in the fly press. We'll see what we can do. I don't want to take too much white of this.
another few centimeters and then as we do the fuller and do the bevels we'll control the width because it's roughly what the width we need about 20 millimeters so we don't want it to get wider as we draw out the bevels so we'll control that and shove that metal down the length of it also we're working here which has got a bit of a curve so it acts a bit like a fuller so we're also getting a bit more that way
some that didn't quite weld up properly. And we're just going to nip off that bit. So that looks pretty good. Oh, by the way, for those wondering, we started off with uh, 1.5 kilos, we're down to 900 grams. So now it's time to start fullering out to get the, um, well, we use the cross beam to get the, uh, the bevels in, get a bit of width and we'll grind the tip to shape at the end. And then we'll work our way down. That'll also give us a bit of extra length. the desired edge length, which is going to be about 840-ish, then we'll do the set in for the tang. I've got the fly press set up for that. And once we've got that, then we'll fuller in the fuller, which we'll use the hydraulic press for. Hopefully that will actually work.
I'm going to do the insets now, and then I'll finish drawing out, and then we'll start doing the following. tang back on center in a moment. It's not that difficult a task. So, at the end of this day, we have the sword laid out. Um, we are at length. Um, I think we still have a tiny amount of twist. Oh, maybe not. Doesn't look like we have twist in it. Um, we've got it as straight as we can. The lines are pretty good, um, so now it's time for grinding. 
Um, now we started with 1.5 kilos. We are down to 780 grams. Um, so with guard fittings and whatnot, we should be up around that 900, maybe close to a kilo. So as far as rapiers go, it's at the median end of the weight range. Um, this one is a specific length for a specific person. Uh, my partner has actually asked for a new one. Um, so this one is exactly her length. Um, actually, in fact, it's just a tiny bit over length. I've got to take off about three, four centimetres um, to bring it down to where she wants it. She wants it between 820 mils and 850. We are at 860 not including two centimetres that I've left for buffer in case of any little bit of welding at the tip that's not quite perfect. Allowing for the fact that I've already taken a good centimetre off to clean up that. Um, I've got about 10 centimetres worth of um, the cable Damascus into the tang. Um, so the, the tang and the handle are solid and very nicely welded. Um, I haven't had any delamination problems at all throughout the entire forge process. It's been amazing. I did have one wire that tried to get away and then at some point during the forge welding it was incorporated and it's in there somewhere. Um, now the way I've built this billet, as you'll remember, is that there's mild steel which goes through to about, I'm guessing about here. So there's a, a very thin lower carbon core which should provide this, the blade with a lot more strength than if it was just all steel. So in the next video we'll do the grinding, hopefully we'll try and get to the heat treating. I'll have to figure out some way that I can heat uniformly a blade of this length. That's going to be an interesting proposition under the circumstances, um, but we'll figure something out. Um, and then we have to build the hardware. Um, so we have to do the fit out for it. So that'll be mostly forged out of um, spring steel stock, um, just so that we can keep it all high grade. Um, but that's where I'm going to leave off. Enough chit chat. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Feel free to share on social media. And if you haven't already subscribed, I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button. When you do, don't forget, ring the notification bell. So get out to your shop, push your envelope, have some fun, but do stay safe. And I'll catch you for the next one.